So now that we understand minors and cofactors and how that's taking a bigger matrix and breaking it down into smaller ones, and we know about how to pick rows or columns, let's actually use that information to pick and find the determinant of an m by n matrix. So we're going to start with the matrix 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 2, 2, minus 1, 0, 0. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick that ugly column, column 2, that we picked in the last video, and we're going to break this apart. And what we do now is we work on our cofactor. So you remember the odd even thing, the negative positive? Well, if you start in the upper right, this guy right here is always positive, and every time I move, so I'm going to start in the upper left and positive, I'm going to go towards the row or column that I pick. So if I pick columns, I'm going to go across, if I pick rows, I'm going to go down, and I go across until I find it. So this is going to be negative, positive, negative. I change signs every time I change numbers, but only to the left or right or up and down. So now I know that this is negative, positive, negative. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three new matrices with the appropriate number and cofactor. So I'm going to get a minus 0 times the determinant that's formed by ignoring. So this is m, in this case, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2. There we go. We're going to ignore the first row, second column. Since I picked the second column, this isn't going to change. I'm just going to change my row each time. So if I ignore this, this becomes 0, 2, minus 1, 0. So I ignored this and this. Well, then I'm going to add, because I'm going to use that, the 2 found here, and I'm going to look at m22. So now I'm also going to ignore this row. So that gives me a 1 minus 1 minus 1, 0. Then we can get rid of my markers. Minus the 0 times, when we ignore this column and this row, we get 1 minus 1, 0, 2. Now I want you to think just for a moment about what happens here and here when I have a scalar of 0. And this is why we pick the row or the column with the most zeros. A 0 goes away. 0 times anything. So if I were to distribute this through, I get 0, 0, 0, 0, which is 0 times 0 plus 0 times 0, which is 0 plus 0, which is 0. There's a lot of zeros. The important thing is this whole cofactor turns into a 0. Then we're going to add to that 2 times 1 times 0 minus a minus 1 times a minus 1. And then this whole thing turns into a 0, so I also get a minus 0. So I can ignore that and that. I get 2 times 1, that's a positive 1, minus 1 is a 0, 2 times 0. So it turns out that this determinant is 0 because of the way I set it up. Well, now we continue. Let's look at another example. Suppose that I have the 3, 4, 1, 1, 4, 3, 4, 3, 1. And again, remember that we picked the second column on this one because it was the ugliest one, because there weren't any zeros to use. And then our cofactors go positive, negative, positive, negative, our signs of our cofactors. So this is equal to a negative, 4 times the determinant of ignoring this row and this column. So 1, 3, 4, 1. Then we erase these and we come back in. And now it's plus 4 times 3, 1, 4, 1. And again, we just get rid of these. And then it's minus 3 times I'm just going to leave him in. And he goes away. 3, 1, 1, 3. And now we're ready to go. We just find our 2 by 2. So this is 1 minus 12 times a minus 4 plus 4 times 3 minus 4 minus 3 times 9 minus 1. So this is minus 4 times minus 11 plus 4 times minus 1 minus 3 times 8. That's 44 minus 4 minus 24. 44 minus 24 minus 4 is 20 minus 4. So this is 16. And I've successfully found my determinant.